we begin with a developing story out of New Haven where firefighters still in the scene of a blaze on Elizabeth Street happened at a multi-family home there. News aide Ken Pierce live now this noon hour with the very latest on what happened. Good afternoon, Ken. Good afternoon to you, Keith. And the cold certainly a factor as firefighters went to work on this fire this morning. One of those firefighters actually injured his back while trying to get this fire under control. You can see most of the damage up there to the top floors of this building. In fact, the top two stories of this multifamily home just gutted at this point. Eight people and one family pet did call this home, but they all got out safely. Most of them weren't even home at the time of this fire. We got video from Report It to show you about how wind was another factor. Factor in this, uh, the that wind threatening to spread the fire to houses. They're packed in pretty close by here on Elizabeth Street. Fortunately, the direction the wind was blowing blew those flames towards an empty lot and to the street. Now this fire went to two alarms, so you had a lot of hands working this fire. One firefighter hurt his back. We're told it was not in a fall. We're not told any more specifics than that, except that the injury is not serious. But that firefighter was taken to the hospital to get checked out. There was only one person home at the time, and that. Person got out safely, but eight people do live here, and they will not be coming home tonight. Well, the Red Cross is here to reoccupy the residents. They're not going to be able to establish. We're not sure about that until the building department comes and establishes that. Fire officials now have to look at what caused this fire. Building officials have to determine if the whole structure has to come down or if it can be saved. That's still to be determined. The assistant chief praising the crews for working so quickly to contain the fire. No flames or smoke visible now at this point. They're rolling up the hoses behind us here. But Elizabeth Street is still blocked off from Dixwell to Sherman. And Sherman and Dixwell are also blocked off right near Elizabeth Street. We're live in New Haven this afternoon. I'm Kent Pierce. Keith, back to you.